<laughs> a little bounce. A little bounce in the morning. <sighs> Welcome to today's Daily Breather, everybody. Um, we have our candles lit. Mm -hmm. If y'all want to light your candles at home, uh, maximize some positive energy. All that light and goodness is headed towards people who are struggling right now. And um, we're going to take a couple daily, or sorry, we're going to take a couple deep breaths. <laughs> we're going to take a couple daily breaths on our daily breather. Um, so we'll start by straightening our spines and our shoulders, but not too much. And getting really relaxed and feel the air kind of flowing into your stomach a little bit more than your lungs. Okay, so we can count down from three and uh, we'll breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. Here we go. Three, two, one. And out. One more, let's go in. And out. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Good to see your profile pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, we got some things that we're grateful for today. We're trying to practice gratefulness every day, regardless of, uh, you know, what whether the sky is gray or blue. True. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah, today I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty grateful for the rain. I feel like um, I just started my garden and... It's supposed to rain all day today, so I didn't have to go out and wrangle the sprinkler up and figure out how to get the hose over there. So I'm just going to let nature run its course. Kate's got a special <sighs> vengeance against the rain. Every time it rains, she's like, I can't garden. Yeah. <laughs> I finally got all my seeds in, so I, I feel like now I can rest a little bit. and I'm okay with the rain. Yeah. I'm grateful for um, friends who are selling their clothes, um, mainly because, <laughs> like, there's a bunch of collaboration happening now. Like, my friends are selling, like, old jackets they used to have, and I'm selling some stuff, and we're able to kind of help each other out while also, like, getting cool stuff out of it. So I guess bartering. I'm, I'm thankful for the bartering <laughs> system today. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm really trying to say. Um, I am thankful today for the uh, Michigan music community. Um, I did a stream last night with Local Spins and Political Lizard, and it's just it's so nice to to just know that there's there's great people in the in the music community doing awesome stuff so yeah that it really lifted my spirits yesterday i was glad to hear the new stuff from political lizard it was good to see john at local spins yeah. uh so yeah shout out to everybody that was that was part of that last night and for tuning in y'all have awesome, so dude. many good things to be grateful for somebody just said potatoes so oh, simple yeah. so humble yet so beautiful Someone else says grateful for quiet neighbors during sleep time. That is true. True. I can't even tell you how many times I've had to go like knock on the door <laughs> of some camper, or some hotel room. Like, oh yeah, hey, like at festivals. Though? It's four in the morning and we've been up for twenty six hours straight. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, audiobooks too. That's another. Yeah. That's another good thing to be grateful for. Well, we're gonna play the first song that we ever played together, Kate and I, when we were first uh, duo. We were in this alternative style group at Stay After School in our orchestra class, and um, we were supposed to be working on this special performance we were going to do, and instead she came over and there was a guitar laying on the floor because my parents were musicians, and we started playing the song together, and pretty much that night we were a band. So. Yeah. Yep. It's and great. We, uh, it's followed us around ever since. This is We're Going to Be Friends by the White Stripes. Sing along, everybody. You'll get the hang of it. Back to school, ring the bell, brand new shoes, walk the rules, climb a fence, book some pens. I can tell that we are gonna be friends. I can tell that we are gonna be friends. Walk with me, Susie Lee, through the park and by the tree. We will rest upon the ground and look at all the bugs we found. Safely walk to school without a sound. Safely walk to school without a sound Here we are, no one else, it 
walk to school all by ourselves There's dirt on our uniforms We're chasing all the ants and worms We clean up and now it's time to learn We clean up and now it's time to learn Numbers, letters, learn to spell Nouns in books and show and tell Play time, we will throw the ball Back to class, through the hall Teacher marks our height against the wall Teacher marks our height against the wall We don't notice any time pass We don't notice anything We sit side by side in every class Teacher thinks that I sound funny But she likes the way you sing To not all dream while I'm in bed Silly thoughts run through my head About the buzz and alphabet when I wait tomorrow, I'll bet that you and I will walk together again. Cause I can tell that we are gonna be friends. I can tell that we are gonna be friends. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. I was just thinking yesterday about uh, us talking with a friend about like waiting for the school bus and riding to school and all those memories that seem super far away. Yeah, I remember when we used p public transportation instead of <laughs> what, the same van <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, good old days. Yeah. So we have a book recommendation for you today, as we do mm -hmm. every day. And this time it is Persepolis uh, by Marzan Satrafi. Uh, it's a graphic novel um, about, it's basically a story of her life um, growing up in the late 70s in Iran during the uh, Iranian Revolution. Um, it's fantastic. I read it in high school, actually, uh, when I was in 10th grade. Um, and it's a pretty quick read. Uh, it's a graphic novel. Uh, the illustrations are amazing. Uh, the story is very poignant, and um, it's a, a bit heavy at times, so maybe, you know, for, for people who don't want to read a, a super heavy thing, it is about the Iranian Revolution. Um, <laughs> but it's it's really fantastic, and there's a couple other books in the series, too, so if you liked the first one, I think there's two or three more. Um, yeah. So highly yeah. recommend. Very there's, like, one section in the book I remember, like, she was a little kid, and she's, like, a total rebel, which I love, <laughs> and she decided to, like, I think she went to school, or she went outside with a Michael Jackson pin on her jacket, and, you know, could have gotten in huge trouble, and I was like, wow, like, what a thing, mm -hmm. what a good thing to be grateful for, like, look at all the buttons I've got on I my know, jacket. it's, like, such a small <laughs> thing, but it meant so much. Uh, so. Yeah, excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent choice. Yes. We should all get Michael Jackson pins. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. Um, I love pins. I'll, I got the spoon pin, you know, whatever. Oh, it's <laughs> a literal spoon. I thought yeah. you meant, like, the band. Just kidding. We should <laughs> all get spoon pins. Yeah. Spoon that's a what, what, Yeah, that's great. Um, but we are doing book giveaways um, from our local bookstore, Brilliant Books. So if you share the stream today, we will have another book winner tomorrow. And tomorrow is also, like we mentioned earlier, our... 50th daily breather so we're going to take a breather from the breathers while we um, focus on making some new music for you guys and we'll be doing our uh, thursday three for tea at three o'clock eastern time so yeah. tune in. yeah three for tea um that's going to be really fun today uh we are doing a couple different things at six o'clock i am jumping on a panel, um, thanks to Jay Gilbert and the Recording Academy, the Grammys Recording Academy, um, I'm going to be jumping on a panel talking about OBS today, so, yep, and then, um, <laughs> later on today, we will be, um, doing a little hang with the End of America, which is another great band on the Fleming roster, and we met them through our Fleming calls, of which we are going to be late for at this point, <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're really excited to be hanging with them tonight, so, uh, tune into their Facebook page, The End of America, at, uh, around 8.30, I would say. Mm -hmm. That's all we got. We will see you, uh, oh, wait, one more thing. So, tomorrow is Homestyle Music Festival, and we're really excited about this. It's, um, it's gonna be this huge blowout festival. We got a bunch of other bands on the lineup, and that's happening tomorrow, starting at 7 o'clock from the Homestyle Festival, uh, Facebook page, so... Definitely come check it out. It's going to be really fun. All right. Cool. Oh, last thing. <laughs> 
Saturday is Philly Folk Festival, and that's going to be a blowout thing. We've got a couple surprises up our sleeve. Uh, we're going to be playing at the Philly Folk Festival's private site, so um, go to the events in our Bands in Town or Facebook events and grab your tickets now. Um, it's going to be a really like, special show, so we will see you there. Thank you guys so much for being here, and uh, we will see you tonight and tomorrow. Cool. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. See ya.